Welcome to the King 5 Weather Garden. That's a nice spring day showing up out here and the birds are out here. This is where we do our weather right here. We sit here and we look at the camera, it's inside the glass and we have monitors down here which help us see what's going on. And we have our nice white crowned sparrow that serenades me every morning out here. Beautiful setting out here. This was actually the founder of King 5, Dorothy Bullitt's uh, private garden for a long time. Now it's the weather garden. And well, we do have our friends out here and we feed them. You can see the bird feeder out there. It has a story actually. If you know uh, Phil Harris, who was one of the captains on uh, Deadliest Catch who passed away, he used to build these as a hobby. And when we moved out to the roof garden, uh, he called us up and said, the plastic feeder I put out here was not really good enough to be on TV. So he made us one of his very fancy bird feeders and we still have that hanging out here and still appreciated by the birds. And uh, it's normally pretty full of them, but. Now that we're out here today, they're not really visiting with us. We also have a hummingbird feeder out there too, and we have the hummingbirds coming all year round. So it's kind of a wild kingdom out here in the roof garden, which is good because otherwise I'd be pretty lonely up here in the mornings. So, Rich, tell us about the plants you have out here. You know, we have <laughs> some really ugly plants out here that are not very well maintained, <laughs> as you can see. A lot of weeds growing well, some thistle over on this side. Um, not much else to tell you about it, quite honestly. You don't come out here and weed? Uh, I do sometimes between weather segments. I'll come out here and weed for a while while I'm waiting for them to come to me. But it's an overwhelming job, quite honestly. They've taken hold. I think they're winning. So when you come out here and do the weather, um, which angle, which side is your favorite view here? Oh, geez. I think just standing here looking at the birds in the bird feeder and looking up at the trees. You can imagine you're not really in the middle of the city, which is kind of nice. So, how many days a year do you think you do the weather out here? I would say, unless something goes wrong technically, I'm out here every day. There isn't a day I don't come out here. Because it's much better to be out here in the weather. For one thing, I'm a little bit more in tune with what's going on, and it just gives you more of a feel of what, uh, what you're expecting for the day, if you know what it's doing right now. Okay, great. Thanks, Rich. You're welcome.